around through traffic and then he ended up on the left side shoulder just good i guess he didn't get seriously injured you know Stephen Delahaye claims to have seen Inkster State Rep. Joel Jones driving erratically on I-96 before he eventually got into an accident in Livingston County. State troopers arrested Jones Tuesday evening. He was booked at the county jail and released Wednesday afternoon. We lost him for probably like three, three to five miles and then still on 96 West. We saw him kind of on the right side again going about 50, 55. And uh, that's when he kind of went back over and that's when I had the video I started recording and he almost hit the bridge right wow. before the Latson exit. Wow. And that's when we, we ended up getting off and he kept going. Delahaye recorded this video of a Chevy Tahoe driving on the shoulder of I-96 Tuesday evening. It was a black Chevy Tahoe, like SUV, uh, kind of tinted windows on it. In the plate? Uh, it said elected. The vehicle's description and plate matching that of Jones' SUV. I, I saw what he looked like, and he looked younger and whatnot, and he was African-American. And so I got the, the link right away. I could tell by his hair and everything. I was like, whoa, I'm like, that that's totally him. And I Jones was initially set to be arraigned Wednesday afternoon, but that's now on hold as state police and the Livingston County prosecuting attorney await lab test results. Both Democrat and Republican leaders weighing in on the situation. GOP Speaker of the House Jason Wentworth says... What I've heard so far is incredibly disappointing. Elected officials and community leaders have the people's trust and must be held to a higher standard. House Democratic leader Donna Lisinski says, We are currently gathering information and details regarding this incident. Given this is an active investigation, we will not be offering further comment until we get additional facts. We don't know. Uh, I wasn't there. He wasn't there. And what would happen? Uh, you know, however, you know, uh, we do know that, that he was arrested and uh, that is of concern. State troopers informed Inkster Police Chief William Riley of Jones's arrest. Jones is an auxiliary officer, a volunteer position for Inkster PD. Uh, as a result of that information, um, you know, we have uh, launched a investigation, an internal investigation uh, regarding that arrest to see what, uh, you know, what basically occurred. And Chief Riley says Jones has been suspended pending both the internal and state police investigations. MSP says those lab test results will be back in a couple of weeks. State Rep. Jones could not be reached for comment. You, Monica. Randy, any prior stops or arrests? Well, yeah, back in 2018, uh, State Rep. Jones was uh, cited for... Uh, having two dark window tents and an open intoxicant in his car, but that latter charge was eventually dismissed. All right. Thanks for that live report, Randy.